smartphones with quality photography capabilities are now not only available in the flagship segment, the mid-range class, at least since last year, has begun to offer complete sensors, high resolution, and more. Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G is arguably trying something different because it strengthens two main aspects, namely hardware and software. Yes, a few weeks ago, a reviewer was invited to Bangkok, Thailand to try out Realme's camera innovation with its latest algorithm that utilizes AI. The innovation is embedded directly into the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G, the first smartphone in its class to carry two latest generation Sony sensors, both as the main sensor and periscope. This makes the photography experience offered through Realme's latest smartphone next level. Not only the camera, but the overall experience is also quite satisfying. What are the improvements offered? Here's the full Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G review. Of course, this section is the most interesting part of this Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G review. All in all, Realme refined its latest number series camera, bringing a combination of best-in-class hardware, as well as new processing algorithms that are said to make heavy use of AI. Let's talk about the hardware side first. What are the upgrades? First in its segment, the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G sports two Sony LYTA sensors at once, the main sensor is the Sony LYT701, the latest and first in the industry, with a sensor dimension of 1.56 inches and a diaphragm of 1.88. Yes, when many mid-range smartphones use the sensor for the main sensor, Realme utilizes it as a 3 times optical zoom, up to 120 times digital zoom, periscope camera. Both sensors are equipped with OIS, while the third sensor on the back is an 8-megapixel ultra-wide with a 112-degree viewing angle. In front, there is also a Sony IMX615 sensor, which has a resolution of 32 megapixels and has a wide enough angle for group selfies. In addition to hardware, on the image processing side, the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G has been reinforced with HyperImage Plus, which includes the latest camera algorithms to enhance image results, even making this smartphone the first to achieve a new standard from TUV Rhineland for certification of high-resolution cameras with guaranteed quality. Wanting to look more stylish, the design of the Realm 13 Pro Plus 5G is now made fresher, with a rear body surface design inspired by Claude Monet's signature paintings. Yes, in the Monet gold color option, which is the hero color of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G, the smartphone looks quite luxurious, coupled with curves on some sides. In presenting this new design, Realme collaborated with MFA Boston to replicate one of Claude Monet's best works, the Haystacks painting. The surface of the rear body is smooth, slightly shiny in certain inclinations when exposed to light, but with a frosted surface, making it free from fingerprints. The rear camera module of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G remains very large and centered, bringing premium accents to its bezel surroundings, and now carries the printed text HyperImage Plus, which is the latest AI-based camera algorithm. It comes in a thin profile of less than 8.3 millimeters, weighing just 190 grams. Besides the Monet Gold option, there is also an emerald green variant that uses a textured vegan leather surface. Not only stylish, Realme has also strengthened the body structure of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G. More scratch-resistant, it is also more drop-resistant, even with claims of remaining undented from a 1.65-meter drop height. Plus, the IP65 certification makes it resistant to dust and water splashes. In addition to the rear cross-section, the front view of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G is also still stylishly designed, already using a quality 3D curved AMOLED panel with a dimension of 6.7 inches. 
because it has armor shield glass, aka glass that has been strengthened. The panel itself has also been increased in brightness, now up to 2000 nits. This makes the Realme 13 Pro plus 5G screen still look bright, like when I used it for photos on the beach of the Thousand Islands when the sun was bright during the day. Of course, combined with the right color profile, supporting 1 billion colors and 100% DCI-P3 coverage, there are a number of color profiles that you can choose from via the settings menu. They range from vivid for maximum saturation, that's a feast for the eyes, to a special profile for P3 standard accuracy for a better fit when viewing color accurate captured images. The rest is up to flagship standards, including a high contrast ratio and a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz. Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G comes with Realme UI 5.0 based on Android 14. What about the future of the software? Realme itself promises at least two OS version updates and three years of regular security updates. There are a number of interesting AI features embedded in this latest smartphone, including being derived from the Realme GT series. Namely, the AI Smart Loop that can help you multitask faster, intelligently predicting what application will be accessed next. Then there are two special features on the photo editor, namely AI Smart Removal and AI Ultra Clarity. As the name implies, AI Smart Removal allows you to remove objects and fill them in very intelligently. The algorithm is really very mature. As for AI Ultra Clarity, this feature serves to clarify photos that are slightly blurry. Apart from the smartphone camera, perhaps when taken while the hand is shaking, you can also use it to restore old photos. This feature is still in beta stage, and Realme will continue to improve its capabilities in the future. The Air Gestures option is also present on the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G to control a number of smartphone functions with just hand gestures, facing the front camera, fitting to receive or hang up calls when hands are dirty. The rest, such as the vibration motor and stereo speaker setup, are quite satisfactory for a smartphone in its class. Realme has chosen one of Qualcomm's popular chipsets, the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2, to power the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G. Being relatively new, this chip is claimed to be equipped with an NPU that is suitable for AI processing, an important point considering the camera algorithm of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G is now more complex with AI. On the positive side, this chipset has used a 4 nanometer fabrication process, so it is already power efficient. Paired with up to 12 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM plus 512 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage, the performance of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G is quite comfortable for daily use. Starting from light scenarios to multitasking, it feels quite fast. Although there is occasional lag, it is not so annoying. To keep performance in check, the 3D VC cooling system is embedded with up to nine layers and a coverage of 4,500 square millimeters. The smartphone body is relatively stable, feeling hot when actually accessing the camera intensively for a long time only. The rest is like activating a hotspot, not warm, except when gaming, which is also very reasonable. Interestingly, compared to the previous generation, the battery capacity of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G is made to increase slightly, where it is now 5,200 baht. In fact, dimensionally, there is no difference, aka more or less the same. Of course, it makes use more comfortable, no need to worry about running out of power quickly. On a day where I used the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G camera more, the battery was still able to last from morning until the next morning, without the need to activate the power-saving mode, though. So, if you use it more lightly, 
or utilize additional battery modes, the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G can easily last up to two days. Despite the larger battery capacity of the Realme 13 Pro Plus 5G, charging is still instantaneous because it has been paired with 80-watt SuperVoog support plus a charger adapter that is already available in the sales package. 30 minutes of charging can already increase the power from almost exhausted to around 75%, while when charging to full, it takes approximately 50 minutes. Realme also dares to claim that the battery capacity will remain more than 80% after 1600 cycles, generally translated into the equivalent of four years of normal use. The smart charging mode is there to carefully study charging habits. Want to limit charging to 80% only? There is a special option that can be activated in the settings menu if needed.